Our topic is monotonic function. From the word monotonic, we indicate the monotonous behavior that is in the sense of ascending or descending. Here monotonic function is divided into two parts. First one is increasing function and second one is decreasing function. This increasing function is also divided into two parts respectively strictly increasing function and number B non-decreasing function. The decreasing function is divided into another two parts respectively strictly decreasing function and non-increasing function. We shall start with the first one that is increasing function. Friends, let us consider that y is equal to fx be a real valued function. y is equal to fx and we want to draw the curve of this function. Let this is the curve of this function y is equal to fx y is equal to fx okay so friends this is origin this one is x axis now let us consider that there be two function two values x1 and x2 in its domain of this function if x1 is less than x2 this implies that f of x1 is less than f of x2 then we say that the function fx is strictly increasing as for example the values x1 and x2 be at these points say this is x1 and this one is x2 okay now with respect to the point x1 the value of the function is f of x1 mark it here f of x1 and at the point x is equal to x2 we draw the vertical and find the value of the function fx and mark it here this is f of x2 okay so friends carefully see that is for smaller input we have smaller output and for higher value of input we have the higher output fx2 okay so a function is increasing when its graph rises from left to right you see that this graph is increasing from left to right now we shall study the nature of derivative of this function we know that f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus fx divided by h okay h is a positive quantity h is greater than 0 now friends x for this real number x x less than x plus h okay so since h is more than 0 we find fx is less than f of x plus h that means we again draw a curve so this is the domain value x and this is x plus h at x you see that the height is f of x and the point x plus h the height is f of x plus h okay so you see that f of x plus h is more than fx okay that means f of x plus h minus fx is greater than 0 this f of x plus h minus fx is greater than 0 that means here you see that the numerator is positive the numerator is always positive and h is again positive so from this one you see that f dash x is equal to a positive 
quantity divided by another positive quantity that is again a positive okay so f dash x is positive means greater than 0 f dash x is greater than 0 that means f dash x may also be 0 but only at finite number of points and not in any interval okay now we shall study non-decreasing function we shall study the non-decreasing function friends in non-decreasing function let us consider that y is equal to fx be a real valued function and the graph of this function be this one okay so mark it here a b c d okay so there are three parts some part is parallel to x axis this bc is parallel to x axis and ab is here increasing you are looking from this graph cd also increasing but bc is parallel to x axis carefully you follow suppose there is a point x1 and there is another point x2 such that the value of this function here is f of x1 and the value of the function at the point x2 is f of x2 so see that x1 is less than x2 but you are getting f of x1 is equal to f of x2 isn't it here f of, f of x1 is equal to f of x2 at the points respectively x1 and x2 but x1 was less than x2 now friends you have to look this one also carefully suppose there are also several points say this point is say p and this one is q okay at p the height is f of p okay this is f of p and this one is f of q look here p is less than q but you are getting f of p is less than f of q we also take other two values say respectively m and n m is less than n okay m is less than n you find the verticals here okay the first vertical is f of m second vertical is f of n so f m is less than f of n isn't it so friend here we see that this is strictly increasing this part a b and c d part is also strictly increasing for this one but here b c is parallel to x axis for that f x 1 is equal to f x 2 this type of function is non decreasing function this type of function is non decreasing function now we shall study on decreasing function friends again we consider another function say y is equal to fx y is equal to fx we draw the graph of this function say this one we take again two values two real numbers in its domain say x1 and x2 this is x1 this one is x2 so here you see that x1 is less than x2 we find the value of this function at the point x1 and this is f of x1 f of x1 and at the point x2 we find the value of this function and this is f of x2 carefully see f of x1 is more than f x2 that means x1 is less than x2 x1 is less than x2 but you are getting f of x1 is more than f of x2 what does it indicate it indicates that 
for smaller value of input we have higher in output and for higher input we get smaller output now we shall study the nature of the derivative okay again we consider f dash x what is f dash x f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus fx divided by h okay therefore x is less than x plus h obviously h is more than 0 so x is less than x plus h but we are getting that f of x is more than f of x plus h okay that means for lesser value we are getting the higher output so fx is more than f of x plus h or f of x plus h minus fx is less than 0 so see that the numerator is less than 0 but the denominator is positive so from this one that means f dash x is equal to a negative quantity divided by a positive quantity that is a negative quantity so this is less than 0 so f dash x is less than 0 so f dash x is less than 0 for strictly decreasing function and f dash x may also be 0 but only at finite number of points a function this is y is equal to fx a function is decreasing when it goes that means its graph goes down from left to right okay so this is strictly decreasing function now we shall study on the non increasing function friends in non increasing function we shall draw a curve say the function is y is equal to fx and this is x axis y axis so the curve is this one there are three parts a b c d here you see that a b is going downwards c d also going downwards but b c is parallel to this x axis if you take two points respectively x1 and x2 where x1 is less than x2 so this is x1 this one is x2 x1 is less than x2 so if you find the verticals that means the value of the function at this point x1 this one is f of x1 and at the point x2 the value of this function is f of x2 see that fx1 is equal to fx2 fx1 is equal to fx2 so for x1 for x1 less than x2 we get f of x1 is equal to f of x2 so at this part this part is not increasing or decreasing but in this zone a b if you take two points say respectively m and n you see that this one is f of m and this is f of n okay f of n m is less than n here m is less than n this point is less than this point but the vertical that means the value of this function here fm is more than f of n so this part is strictly decreasing similarly at this part also cd this part is also strictly decreasing so this type of function is non increasing function finally we want to conclude with the concept that a what is a non monotonic function we studied on monotonic function now we shall study on non monotonic non monotonic monotonic function friends a non monotonic function is a function that is increasing and decreasing on different intervals of its domain as for example we take fx is equal to x square you know this one this curve this is actually a parabolic curve this is the parabolic curve yes 
its vertex is at the origin so friend clearly it is observed from this graph that this part is decreasing this one is decreasing and this part is increasing so we have to conclude here that this function is increasing on the interval x is on the x is uh, greater than 0 and decreasing on the interval uh, where x is less than 0. So this type of function is non monotonic function. Please see the video again and again. Um, I think this will be helpful for your future mathematics. Thank you. Have a nice day.